now, Jody Schechter, one of an illustrious array of drivers, really, who benefited from the engineering brilliance of Harvey Postlethwaite. Harvey Postlethwaite died suddenly in Barcelona last month. He was there testing for the new projected Honda team. Here's Murray again with a tribute to his friend Harvey Postlethwaite. Harvey Postlethwaite was one of Formula One's most admired and accomplished designers. He worked for several top teams, but first sprang to prominence at Hesketh, where he designed the car which gave James Hunt his first Formula One win. In 1976, Postlethwaite moved to the Wolf team with Jody Schechter. The car was an instant success, winning on its debut in Argentina and here around the streets of Monaco. It was a, it was a wonderful car. It really uh, worked very well, especially in street circuits. Um, and uh, he sort of, he explained it so simply. I always felt he had such a good understanding of, of what was going on. The lure of the big teams took Postlethwaite to Ferrari, where his passion for racing matched that of the Italian team. His cars won the most recent of Ferrari's constructors' titles in 1982 and 83. Ken Tyrrell had a long-standing partnership with Postlethwaite, one which produced outstanding cars, like the 1989 018 and the 019, in which Jean Alesi had an inspired battle against Ayrton Senna in the American Grand Prix at Phoenix. After brief spells back at Ferrari and then at Sauber, Postlethwaite returned to Tyrrell in 1993 becoming its managing director following the team's acquisition by BAR. Recently, Harvey Postlethwaite had been coordinating Honda's research program with his ex-Tyrrell engineers and driver Jos Verstappen. At 55 years of age, he is a very sad loss to life and to Formula One.